Close your eyes and watch your breath. And then watch it again, watch it again. Each time it comes in, each time it goes out, just stay right here. Try to get the mind firmly planted here. It's like having an anchor. The mind can stay with the breath and thoughts can blow through the mind, but they don't blow you away with them. The affairs of the world can blow through and they don't blow you away. It's like you've got a ship and you've taken down all the sails and you've got the anchor keeping you firmly, firmly in place regardless of the wind or the waves, or the currents and the water. Because we live in a world that's got a lot of really bad currents. They could smash you up against the coast, smash you against the rocks at any time. So you've got to be very careful that you don't get, let them take over. But most of us are not like that. We, our ears like two big sails. They're not there just to pick up any slight breeze, to go zipping along wherever that breeze wants to send us. And as a result, we end up crashing into all kinds of things. You may have noticed every Sunday we come here, we both meditate and we take the precepts. The precepts are also kind of an anchor for you as well, to remind you again and again and again that no matter how much you feel tempted to lie or steal or cheat or take intoxicants, that's really not good for you. It's not good for anybody else. It's going to lead to trouble someplace down the line. That's why the precepts are so short and clear-cut. Because it's when you're really tempted, you don't think in long sentences. You think in very short sentences at that point. So it's good to have a few short sentences to remind yourself, no killing, no stealing, no cheating, no illicit sex. Zero. That keeps it simple, keeps it short, and keeps you grounded. Once the mind can settle down, okay, then you can put down your anchor. Because there are all these other currents in the world that are going to tempt you. Not to say anything or do anything immediately, but it, you're going to fall under their influence. They say, well, this is important. You've got to worry about this. You've got to worry about that. And they make you forget what your real duties are, which is to look after your own thoughts, your own words, and your own deeds. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now that we're not responsible for. But if we pay too much attention to that, we're going to miss the parts that we are responsible for, what you're saying to the people around you, what you're doing, what you're thinking. This is really what's going to shape your life. So you want to make sure that your attention stays right here, in your zone of immediate responsibility. Don't get blown around by what other people do or say. So remember, when you find that your ears are like two big sails like that, you've got to take the sails down. Find an anchor. The breath is always right here. That's one of the good things about having the breath as a meditation object. It's always with you wherever you go. Just take a couple of good, long, comfortable breaths, and there you are, reestablished. You've put down your anchor. And don't leave it. Don't throw the chain away with the anchor. Hold on to the chain. Hold on to the anchor, regardless of what other people do or say. Because this, what they do or say, that's their business. Your business is making sure that your mind stays honest and stays true to itself, stays true to its desire for true happiness. And it starts by having this anchor right here. It keeps you from getting blown up against the coast, into the rocks, or whatever, or way out to sea where you can't get found. You're always right here where you know where you are and you know you're safe. As for the winds of the world, just let them blow right through the empty masts on the ship. Don't let them pull you along. 